Hi guys, welcome to Cloudy ML. I'm Rahul. So now we are going to discuss sets in Python. So let's get started. What is a set? A set is an unordered collection data type. That is iterable. We will iterate it later. Mutable. It means um, we can uh, add and remove elements from it and has no duplicate elements. It means that if I try to add elements which are repeated, uh, it won't consider it. So let's just see in uh, uh, applying. So let's say I create my set. So set is uh, denoted by parenthesis bracket like this. So right now I'm just adding some elements. Right now, I do not have any repeated elements here. So let's just print it on my set. Also print type of it, type of my set. So you can see that uh, my output is like this. This is my set and this is class set, it's type. Now let me show you one more uh, example. Let's say this is again my set. And this time I'm going to repeat it. Now, normally, uh, if it would have a list or tuple, it would have printed exactly like this. But now you will see that. See, still it is printing one, two, three, four, five. It ignored all repeated elements. That's the beauty of set. Now, uh, sets are unordered. Unordered, we cannot access items using indexes like we're doing this. So what does this mean? Like normally, normally I index like this, my set zero, if it would have a list or something or one or two, let's just see what happens. So it says set object is not subscriptable. You cannot access its element like we do in list, tuple, as we have seen. Uh, now it says it is unordered also. It, it doesn't remain, it doesn't retain its order. So now let's just see uh, some methods on set but before uh, setting let me show you let's say I define uh, an empty set so how does it print when it is empty let's just see this then we will add elements in it so I cannot uh, access its element using indexing so it means that I cannot assign any item it means uh, I cannot assign like this uh, like uh, Okay, like this, as I have done in list. I cannot do that. It's not possible. So let's just remove this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some methods of list. So let's just move a uh, uh, set methods. So see, uh, let's just see it here. Uh, you can see there are a lot of methods in set. Let's just check add, adds an element to the set. So if you click on this, you can see that uh, uh, this is the syntax. You just pass element into it. Let's just do this. My set dot add. Let's say two. My set dot add. Let's say four. My set dot add. Just six. Now let's just print my set. Okay, uh, okay, we cannot uh, define a set like this. This is a way of assigning a dictionary actually. So let's just say set. <coughs> this is set, now it will run well. Now let me just print my set. So sometimes you do mistakes like this, it's okay. That's why uh, errors are there. It, it tells you like what is the problem and then you fix it. This is my set. You can see that I have added two, four, six into it. This is uh, the way of um, adding elements using the add method. Now let's say I would like to uh, remove something 
what methods I can use. Uh, let me just go back here. Uh, discard. You can use the uh, discard method. Remove the specific item. Or you can also use this remove. Remove the specified element. Specified element. Let's just try remove. Uh, let me check uh, how, what it takes. Uh, Let's just click on remove method and you can just uh, just pass the element name. Let's say I would like to remove six and then print my set again. See that uh, now six is removed. Let's just try discard method also. My set dot discard. Uh, let me check its documentation also. So you can see that every time you can just check the documentation if you don't remember. Uh, much in detail although I know these basics but I still check now what is the difference between remove and discard discard is different than remove because remove method will raise an error if the specified item does not exist and the discard method will not that's a beautiful feature of discard actually let's say I say six again and you know that we do not have six in our my set let's see if it does throw error or not See, it doesn't throw error, but it doesn't give you any output also. But in the same way, if I say my set dot remove six, it will throw error. Oh, okay, I did an error mistake. Six. It says error key error six that it does not exist. That's the difference between discard and remove. So now, if you say my set dot discard, I have two into it, and then let's say I print my set again and you see that I have only four here so this is how uh, you can uh, apply set methods on set you can add remove but you cannot assign any item you cannot replace it's uh, unchangeable uh, there are some other methods also like pop to remove an element I think here you need to pass an index you need to pass uh, uh, you need to pass an index uh, no, you don't need to pass anything actually. It just removes the remove value. It just returns random item from the set. Normally in list, we have seen that pop removes last element if you do not pass an index. And if you pass an index, it will remove the specified element at that index. But here it returns, it removes a random item from the set. Let me confirm this from official documentation pop in set Python. And uh, <clears throat> okay, let's just check uh, set methods and Python official documentation. Uh, yeah, here we have data structures, and I would like to check for sets. Sets, and here we have sets. Okay, these are set methods. Mm, okay, remove this card. Okay, pop. Remove and return arbitrary element from the set raises key error if the set is empty. Okay, what we saw there was correct. So let's say I again. Uh, uh, define this set. I have four elements here, and then I say my set dot remove, not remove actually pop. It's amazing. Uh, it does you you don't need to pass anything. It just does automatically. So it removed eight. Now uh, let's me run this again. What happens? Okay, it, it is again removing eight constantly. <coughs> So, although it said arbitrarily, it removed 8. Let me try now. Uh, let me just print my set again. Okay, 246. Now again, let's try my set.pop to confirm how arbitrary it is. So, see, uh, it removed 8 here and now it removed 2. So, it, it does it arbitrarily. 
so this is how uh, you can check set methods i highly advise you to try and experiment it and see how it works it's the best way to learn and it helps you to gain understanding by your own so that's it for this session guys i hope you enjoyed it please hit a like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content and also you can comment uh, how we can improve and what would you like to see next thank you guys